everyone welcome to astrom show today we'll be talking about the planetary aspects in vedic astrology we'll be discussing about the benefics today and then we'll talk about the malefic planets in the next video so let's get started firstly what is an aspect it is basically bringing the significance of one thing and influencing the other we have planetary aspects as well as sign aspects today we'll be talking about the planetary aspects every planet has one and seventh aspect what does that mean it basically means every planet will impact the house it is placed and exactly opposite to where it is placed however some planets have special aspects let's discuss each planet okay today we are going to discuss about the benefic planets sun moon venus mercury and jupiter okay out of all the planets only jupiter has special aspects so besides one and seven aspect jupiter has special aspects it aspects fifth and ninth house as well okay now let's discuss each planet starting with sun sun seventh aspect basically means sun's characteristics will influence seventh house planet sun is what sun is our soul and self esteem so based on sun's dignity you may feel inferior or confident towards that house sun is our strength determination and leadership quality as well so it will give courage and risk taking capabilities towards that house significance sun also uh, shows dominance and authority towards the house it aspects okay then moon moon seventh aspect means that your emotions are either supported by other people or influenced by them what that means let's say your moon is in your ascendant now moon now aspects your 7th house depending on the dignity of moon your spouse either will nurture your emotions you'll be emotionally supported by your spouse your spouse will be your biggest strength or you'll be manipulated and influenced by your spouse you look for validation of your emotions and feelings from other people because seventh house is also the house of other people the masses besides your spouse you desire for that emotional nourishment care and support from other people because that is what moon represents you feel happy and at peace when other people support you and care about you moon aspect shows the house you want to emotionally nourish or be emotionally nourished by that. then venus venus seventh aspect means you'll desire comfort and love from the house it aspects that house will always remain in focus for most of your life somehow because venus represents the things we love and crave our desires and fulfillment venus is a passionate energy and things that makes us curious interesting okay interested wherever the venus aspect it is the house will be interested in it will be the house that will want to connect with to engage with so venus aspect on whichever house will be of much significance depending on the dignity of venus things might change but significance of that house will be the focus for majority of your life either it will bother you or comfort you then mercury mercury seventh aspect will show what you are curious about mercury is communication information and networking so it also means that you'll be interacting or networking with the significance of that house it aspects you'll desire to engage with that house significance to know something to get information or learn something so mercury seventh aspect is what sparks your curiosity and what you want to learn about or communicate about or engage about then jupiter jupiter's one jupiter has fifth seventh and ninth aspects jupiter is the most benign planet and a planet of expansion and wisdom jupiter's aspect shows hope and positivity about that house significance jupiter is basically knowledge fifth house is basic knowledge and ninth house is ninth aspect is higher learning and divine wisdom so jupiter's aspect shows where your learnings are and where you turn wise about that house Jupiter's fifth aspect is where you want to teach, discuss, share your wisdom and learnings with. And ninth aspect is where you will be learning something from. Okay? Jupiter's aspect expands the significance along with positivity and hope. Being the most benefic planet, 
Jupiter aspect can save the day and elevate some of your misfortune in your chart. Jupiter's aspect can help even if you have a very bad yogas or bad planet. Okay. However, the whole chart needs to be checked. Okay. So, that was all about the aspects in Vedic Astrology. We discussed about the benefits. For consultation, you can check out the description box below. That's all for today. We'll discuss about the malefic planets, aspects of the malefic planets in the next video. Thank you for watching.